Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. I am back with you for a card reading and channeling for whoever needs it for a twin flame connection. Um, I'm going to leave it up to the cards to tell me, you know, what it's going to be, whether it's going to be separation, you know, and mostly people are going to be looking for, you know, there's a problem or separation, but, um, go ahead and pick a deck. This is the everyday witch tarot. This is the light seers tarot, and this is the cat people tarot. So go ahead and pick your poison, so to speak, since it is October. And, and this is a timeless reading. So if you find this and it's not in October, it is still for you. Just trust that your guides have, you know, put it up front on your feed for a reason. Cause sometimes it astounds me when I'm like, why is this super old video on top of my feed? And then I watch it and I'm like, Whoa, anyway. All right. So go ahead and pick descriptions are in the box and we'll go from there. So twin flame soulmates. Twin flame soulmate message. What is it that needs to be heard here? There's the Ace of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Wands in reverse. What does the Divine Masculine want to express? This is you, and these three will be them. <clears throat> what does the divine masculine want to express here? What will be the outcome here? Okay, this is the Divine Feminine, this is Divine Masculine, and this is the outcome. And of course, I will be um, drawing more cards. You are very much blocked. All your energy is blocked. It's like you're trying to manifest this with this Ace of Wands here. But it in the reverse. I feel like you're feeling disheartened and, and weakened by this situation. You know, and with this Queen of Wands here in the reverse, this is distorted feminine energy. I think in this case, let's see. What I'm hearing is that you're the runner. You feel that this is too much, that the universe is asking too much from you. And you're like, I'm done. I'm out. I'm over it. And your person, this divine masculine, he's devastated. He's truly hurt by this. You know, it's not that you aren't, but, you know, he's trying not to lose you know, faith here. He wants to manifest this, but this is in the reverse. So there's, you know, stuck energy. So they are, you know, your divine masculine, you know, whether it's you or whomever it is, they've gone silent, but they're keeping their power. They're much, you know, they're much more in control than you are. And like I said, flip, you know, flip the storyline as always how it reads. You know, and with this high priestess here, I 
I think you want to manifest this, but you just don't know how. They want to manifest this, and they know how. But, you know, with these two candles I'm hearing, they can't do this alone. You know, twin flame, soulmate connection, you know, with any connection, it takes two. Somebody has got to get out of their head. You know, with the self-purgatory card, it's like, it's, it's not doing anything, it's not... There's no progress being made at this moment. I think for the divine feminine, she's, she's, she, he, they, whoever the divine feminine is, is under the impression that they can go ahead and just say, oh, I'm done and I'm walking away. You can't walk away from an aspect of yourself. You can try. Oh, you can try, but it's almost like running in circles. What does this divine feminine need to know? Why is this ace of wands here? Yeah, you're really thinking like, yeah, I'm going to be able to get out of here and get away from this because this is, I feel, I can feel the intensity, you know, and, and you know, you truly are, are whoever this is going to resonate for. Definitely trying to walk away. Definitely. But Spirit is saying, sorry, this is futile. I mean, even look at this. It's like it's upset. You know, the situation. This isn't, this, it's just not going to. It's not going to prove anything with this double card. It's, it's not improving. It's just causing more confusion. You know, because I'm seeing this. This puff of clouds is just more confusion. It's adding more. You know, like if you're trying to run to someone else, it's not going to work out. You know, for your person here, the Four of Cups, they've got the Judgment card. Like, they're trying to sing the tune when they can get their energy back up and get out of this, you know, oh, woe is me. You know, I didn't get my wish fulfillment, but I'm going to go cold and, you know, stand my power. And then they'll come back in and go, oh, no, no. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep singing the song. Yeah, I mean, because they keep going back and forth, too. You've got the Nine of Cups here in reverse, and you've got the Five of Cups in reverse. You know, so they, they're waffling back and forth about this, too, because they're like, well, okay, if somebody doesn't want to be with me, I can't force them to. You know, and then they, fl they flip the switch, and then they're like, oh, I'm going to manifest this. So... Whoever this defi divine feminine is, is running like a banshee in this one. <laughs> Just trying to keep the faith. With this high priestess comes the moon card. What I'm hearing from spirit, and especially this particular card, that's why I like to have so many different decks. It's because look at the imagery on here. Where it's like something looks super scary, but it's actually just a black kitty. You know, but here it looks like a scary lion, tiger, cougar thing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> what is this high priestess about? Yeah, it's the seven of cups making a choice. This divine feminine made a choice to, you know, walk away from love. Hoping that that would solve the problem. It's like the ostrich putting its head in the sand. They thought that this would help with the burden because it's causing them to have a, an awakening and awakening and they do not want to have it. Not yet. They thought it was going to help with this burden, but it's not, you know, and on the bottom of the deck is the six of wands. It's this equal reciprocity and that's what the divine masculine wants. <clears throat> you know, that's what both of them want. But let me get a drink here. <clears throat> so this just came out for the divine feminine. It says chaser. Chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. You know, maybe at some point at the beginning they were chasing, but they're the runner now. You know, and that is a part of the 
the journey, so to speak. I'm often wanted to say game, and I'm like, eh, it's not really a game. You know, and for this divine masculine, they're like, yeah, my person got lured away by somebody else. It wasn't really necessarily that. It was just more of a way to run. Relationship is evolving to the next level, healing the inner child. So with this, you know, runner here, there's going to be some inner child healing that needs to happen. And this person might not be ready. I mean, obviously, they're not ready because they're running. You know, and like I said, at first, they might have been, you know, all up in your grill going, Ooh, I want to be there. I want to do this. You know, let's be together. And then when it got intense, they ran. You're trying to heal your heart because you know what this is. Well, I'm sorry. They know what this is. The divine masculine knows what this is. You know, and females can be divine masculines too. It says receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on. So... I would take that as this is a divine situation that needs to unfold. Let's use some of these made for love twin experience cards. What do they need to know for the highest good? Might be a Gemini involved for some of you. There's intense dreams that are happening between the two of you. And I'm hearing in the 5D, this person, this divine, divine feminine has actually tried to cut off um, connection within dreams as well. But that is not going to work out. Not in the long run. Some people are gaining some psychic skills and that might be one of the reasons why they're suddenly running now because they're like oh my god you know now i'm getting the claire's claire, claire audience clairvoyance yeah they're running this could actually end up being i'm, I'm hearing a couple of months of months situation here because there is love there's definitely love between the two of you I mean this is a you know a twin flame soulmate connection so how could there not be you know they recognize what the situation is I think I think they were the ones who approached you divine feminine light code activation yeah this divine feminine which is you i'm supposing is you know getting some light code activations and it's just you're not prepared for this you weren't ready for this i think the divine masculine and which is you know generally not the case generally the female is ready and the male is not but i mean the divine masculine has got their crown chakra open they were already into the metaphysical arts. Here's the paranormal activity. And they're definitely devoted. So this is going to, you know, it's going to take some time. Let's see. Actually, what's the messages here? What do they want to tell you? I cannot handle any more heartbreak. You know, and it was really apparent within this card right here. You know, like they're beside themselves going, what? They worship your perfection. Well, one more card, what's the message here? You are worth fighting for, so they're not gonna let you go so easily. You can run, but you can't hide. Not for long. All right. I hope that was helpful. 
just know that this is gonna, you know, if you are the runner, you need to go within and do some healing. And then if you're the divine masculine who has had their person run, just know that this is something that's gonna take a little time and healing. And in the meantime, you get your healing too. Cause hey, who doesn't need healing? Cause if you say you don't, you know you'd be lying. All right. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Okay, I'm going to shuffle a little bit of the cards before I timestamp. All right, pile two. Twin flames, soulmate connection. What do we have going on here? We've got the magician card. We've got the six of wands. We've got the empress. The Lovers in Reverse, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, we've got the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Six of Swords in the Reverse. I'm just tuning into the energy of the two of you. This is you, this is them, and this is the outcome. And of course, more cards will be coming. You're feeling a little disheartened. You want this victory, and you're, you know, it's like I feel like you're in this state of knowing what you want and knowing how to get it and knowing that this is your person. And with, with this magician card, it's like, you've been trying to manifest this, but, and they know that both of you are divine counterparts. They're stuck in this, for now, this five of pentacles. You know, it's like, they know that you're divine counterparts, you know, and with this one, it's, you know, impoverished soulmates. And they're stuck in their head about it. Like they're they're in denial and you're trying to keep your energy high because you want this victory you know you're manifesting it even though you're like I said you're getting a little frustrated because you're you're not seeing it for now I thought I feel like this person comes and goes they get hot and they get cold you know they come to you because I feel like their heart bursts open for you and they come at you with this kind of energy and you're like, oh great, finally, victory! You know, and then you're all happy and then shit goes down again and you're like, what? You're like, I thought we were getting away from, you know, we're going into calmer waters and here we are again. So it's like this repeating cycle with this person. You know, and it's causing this for you where you're like, oh, am I manifesting just heartache because we keep going into this cycle? With this page of wands here, it's like you're still trying, even though you, you get discouraged. You know, you turn it around and 
you keep throwing that good energy out there and you're trying not to let this mental mind screw get you. You know, because they know what you are. They know that you're the self-assured, confident person who doesn't need them, but they know you desperately want them. You know, you want this. You're like, I'm ready. I'm ready for babies. I'm ready for the prosperity with you. I'm ready for the house. I'm, you know, like... It's not like you've done all of your work, but you've done a vast majority of what you needed to do, obviously, to get here. And then, of course, the divine timing comes, and it's in the reverse. So with this five of pentacles, you're going to need to have some patience and let them go through their dark night. You know, because you can't help them heal. I know that you want to, and I know that you, I feel like you have tried giving them information, maybe even doing some energy work or, you know, suggesting different things. You know, with this two of swords here, there's going to be distorted communication. This person just needs some time. Like, they have to screw their head back on about this. With this Knight of Cups comes the Two of Pentacles. So, you know, it's like this trying to keep it balanced, you know, within the physical and the non-physical. You're trying, it's like, I feel like you're trying to tow the, the, you know, tow the weight of all this, you know, carry it all and go, okay, you know, I can do this. I can do this, but, you know, what I'm getting is spirit saying you're trying too hard and you're kind of putting yourself in a martyr situation where you're putting in most of the effort to try to keep the communication open and they're just fumbling, bumbling, ghosting, running, coming in all romantic and then, you know, gone the next morning because the interactions they have with you is so profound that it's like they can't take the energetic intensity with this nine of wands here, there's defensiveness. You know, they're arguing within their mind. You know, when it comes to the six of swords, they're like, oh, no, this isn't going to work out. This, this is not what it is. I don't know what's going on. So they keep talking themselves out of it. And that's why they keep running. Here's the fool. It fell out. So starting anew. What I'm really getting from spirit is that you're going to really have to back off from this. I know that you don't want to, but you have to give this person time. You have got to disengage your energy in the physical because it would be very, um, not difficult, but it would be, it would be fruitless to try to disengage your energy in the 5D or the spiritual realm. But what I'm hearing from your guides and spirit is that you need to disengage. You need to give this person time. Because they've got to screw their head back on so you can, you know, so they can stop. So you can feel, stop feeling burdened about trying to hold on and keeping things going. And so then they won't feel... Well, they're probably still going to come in like Romeo, you know, or Juliet and want to come in and, you know, have some fun. And then they're going to freak out and leave again. So this is just going to take some time here. They need some time. Actually, I hear they're begging for time. So you've got to back it up. You know, start focusing on other things for yourself. Start focusing on your own healing of why you might be, you know, codependent or a martyr type energy where you're like, oh no, I can fix this, I can fix this, we got this. The work that needs to be done, you can't do, they have to do it. Let's see. You know, and there is a new beginning here. And on the bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles. So it's like working towards a solid foundation. And that's what you're doing by stepping back. Okay? Let's get some romance angels. Actually, let's do 
this Twin Flame Journey Oracle card from Mystic Moon Oracles. Yeah, metamorphosis needs to happen here. Not only with them, but with you as well. You being able to let go and let be. They definitely need to, this is the card of the hermit. They definitely need to go within. You know, maybe for now you can focus on your coin because that's what they might be running to. Oh, I've just been working so much. Work, work, work. You know, that might be their, their excuse, but it might also be something that you might want to put some time and effort into to disengage. You need to refocus your energy so they can refocus theirs. I don't really, it, for me, sometimes I do feel like this is a karmic partner, but for, in this particular instance, I feel that since you guys are soulmate twin flames, when you're soulmates and twin flames, you're going to have karma from other lives together, regardless. So whatever they have, they got to work out. They need to work out on their own. So you guys can have this fresh start. So that's a good sign. So just give it some time, give it some space. You're going to have to really come forth with this temperance energy, divine timing. You push it, it's just going to prolong things. I hope that that was helpful. Please leave me a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time, all right? Thank you so much. Oops. Let me shuffle some cards and we will get to number three. I'm going to clear the energy and do bring in the new energy for this last card reading number three. Number three, Twin Flame Soulmate Connection. What do they most need to know? The Four of Pentacles. The Hanged Man in Reverse and the Nine of Swords. The Emperor. The Six of Wands. The Fool card. The Tower. The Two of Wands in Reverse. And the Ten of Wands. All right. Let me tune into the energy here really quick. This is going to be you. This is going to be them. And this is the outcome. And of course, many other cards are coming. I feel like you guys have been in union for a while.
I feel like there's been some breakdown of communication as of late. With this Four of Pentacles, I feel like you're just trying to hold on. You know, and between the two of you, it could be a money situation. You're trying to keep your, your perspective. And I think you know something is about to hit, so you're, you're trying to be prepared. I feel like your person is not taking it as well. At least you're perceiving it that they're not taking it as well. I think they're trying to pretend like things aren't bad and they're kind of refusing to get into their emotions about it, about whatever has occurred here. This, I think it's a financial situation. Yeah, they're... They're trying to pretend like, oh, nothing's wrong, everything's good. And you keep trying to say, hey, you know, we gotta, we've got to fix this. We've got to hold on to what we have. You know, and here's the, the fool in reverse. Like, they just, they don't want to start again. It's like they don't want to go over this again. So here's the tower in reverse. So, you know, because I feel like that... The tower moment has already happened. Your person's in denial and you're trying to pick up the pieces. You know, I feel like you're trying to look to the future for something different for the two of you. And I just feel like they're, they just really have their head in the sand about this. Let's see, I'm going to pull some other cards here. What is the situation that's causing this? Give me more information, what is causing this? So it is something to do with money, it's like waiting for money to come in, something to do with finances, and the lo love wanted to come out. So it's about love and money. Love and money. Give me more information about this 3D situation that's happening between these two twins. Yeah, something to do with the fortune. Being up in the head and not, not really concentrating on the task at hand. You're trying to, but they're just like, la, 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 no, everything's great. They just want to go into escape land. No, everything's good. It's great. And they're trying to carry on as it... As it was, but mm -mm. the times are a changing. You're changing, but they're just like, yeah, not there. So these cards came out worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life and playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Excuse me, had to yawn. So, you know, obviously this person's worth waiting for in this situation will, there's gonna be some rockiness about it, but it'll all even out. You know, and maybe the way to try to approach them is in a playful way rather than this. You know, maybe approaching them in like, Oh, well, what if we did this and, you know, like kind of more brain, like fun brainstorming or something. That's what got the, your guys are showing. So then there's this past life relationship. You have known each other before and you already know that. They already know that. Why are you showing us that? You don't want those? Okay. Why are you showing us this past life relationship? It's already acknowledged. Okay. There's going to be a pause. And that's what this is. You know, and there is free will involved. You can't force someone to want to see something that they don't want to see.
you just don't want this to cause a fall, like a financial fall. So are you saying that this is going to be done by the end of this fall? They're saying more or less. So you're going to be able to work through this. What other information, please? I think they're going to have to release what they're trying so desperately to keep a hold of. So the two of you can go, okay, let's approach this in a playful manner. Oops, sorry. Yeah, this is just a part of a cycle. You know, so it's, you know, it's nothing big, but you're just concerned. You know, because you're like, well, yeah, we're, we're a soulmate twin flame connection, but I need some, you know, physical stability. And there's awakening here. So I think you're just going to have to let them awaken to the fact that whatever financial situation or that has happened or whatever it is that they're denying or in denial about just needs to play. It needs to play itself out. So just have some patience. You know, know that they're they're having their free will moment of like, oh no, I'm I'm I have all free will and just go ahead and pretend like this isn't happening and I'm gonna put my head in the sand about it. So just try to come at it in a playful manner. I think, yeah, the guys are saying that that is gonna be your best tactic. It'll kind of what I'm hearing is loosen them up and get them in that more of a free flowing energy so they can. And then of course that's gonna require you to do the same thing. So you're gonna to have to pause. You're gonna to have to do some awakening and releasing so you can come at them in this playful manner. All right, I hope that that was helpful. Please leave me a like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, the information is down in the description box. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Well, bye. <laughs>